Live from NBC4, this is the Channel 4 News at 11 a.m. Also, it may look like the newest Hollywood movie, but this is reality for many people, perhaps even your neighbors. We will take you inside the so-called panic room hidden in one Malibu home. Secret elaborate safe rooms in the houses of the rich and famous and now average homeowners. We'll show you around this one right here in Malibu next. In the upcoming movie Panic Room, Jodie Foster takes refuge in a secret hideaway during a home invasion. That's just fiction, but in reality, panic rooms are actually becoming a trend among security conscious Americans. Channel 4's George Lewis gives us an in-depth look. Secreted away in many homes of the rich and famous, from Malibu to the other side of the world, there are rooms, secret rooms, places where you can run to and hide in times of danger. It's called a panic room. What? A safe room. A castle keep in medieval time. I've read about these. They're quite in vogue in high-end construction right now. One really can't be too careful about home invasion. In the movie, The Panic Room, starring Jodie Foster and Forrest Whitaker, premiering March 29th, the room, also called a safe room, is hidden behind a secret panel. Wood concrete walls, buried phone line not connected to the house's main line. You can call the police, nobody can cut you off. There's so much secrecy surrounding these safe rooms, it's impossible to know how many homes have them today. What is he doing? Blueprints almost never divulge their presence. Even realtors are reluctant to talk about them. Through this door, we come into the master closet. But for the really last 30 years, closet. Al Corby has been designing safe rooms for diplomats, celebrities, and more recently, for average homeowners. What I'm finding is a lot of my clients, their husbands travel. And the wives don't feel that secure when the husband's away for a day or two. But the safe core brings such an enormous level of peace of mind to the family, that many of them want them just to be able to be sleep comfortably at night. Corby's design motto is, the best safe room is the one you can't see and one that's easy to use. He illustrates his point by giving us a tour of one of the homes he's currently building. He tells us the safe room is in plain sight. It takes us a while to find it. At first glance, this looks like an ordinary powder room, but it's really a safe room packed with all sorts of hidden features. And once you close this 650-pound door, you're sealed away from intruders. You are now encased behind a door and walls made up of steel, concrete, and bullet-resistant fiberglass, like this. Well, those little perforations are a 9-millimeter submachine gun that have shot into this. You also notice they didn't go through. And that's only one layer. What would it take for someone to break into one of those rooms? So what it would take would be an act of God. Well, we have the ability now with the new generation of materials to withstand such an invasion that it, it almost seems inconceivable that anybody would show up, whoever they are, with the kind of firepower. For heavily armed safe rooms like this one, which also features a TV surveillance system that can show up to 27 angles of the house, a recorder to document any crime, and a tamper-proof phone line, the cost can run you anywhere from $12,000 on up. At the heart of Corby's safe room designs is what he calls the half-hour principle. When they break in, be it steel, um, hurt someone, kidnap, whatever they're going to do, it's over in 15 minutes. The police forces can usually get to your house on average in a half an hour. So we, we realized there was a need to somehow keep the bad guys away from the residents for a half an hour. These safe rooms are considered defensive rooms, but in Europe, where the laws are different, safe rooms can be offensive, too. Robotically fired guns, electric currents, so poison gas, what? Exactly. It's very easy to install floor systems that will provide a significant amount of voltage to the bad guys. And um, all the way from disabling to not having it as a threat anymore. Sounds exactly like something you'd only see in the movies. George Lewis, NBC News, Los Angeles interesting art imitating life or, or the other way around and i actually like the idea that it's a bathroom the one we got to see it has all the necessities <laughs> makes sense